Well, uh, many people define the smart grid as a kind of marriage between uh, com communications and energy networks. And that there is some truth in this, that uh, one of the big changes that's happening in the industry is more communications and particularly more data. And uh, we've probably individually seen some examples of this ourselves, such as smart meters on uh, residences. Those smart meters are able to collect way more data than was ever available in historic times. And they can also provide other kinds of very valuable information to the grid, such as what the voltage is at the site and so on. Uh, the other big change, and I'm sure you've heard about it, is that many of these new resources are actually variable in nature and not dispatchable. And I mentioned that word before. Um, we in the power industry think about generating stations like gas stations and so on as dispatchable, which means we can tell them when to operate, what level to operate at and so on. And that is the way that operators have traditionally controlled the system. And if you ever go to a, if you ever go to a control room, you'd probably be surprised in many cases, it's still pretty low tech where the operator just calls the power plan and tells it how to operate. Uh, these variable resources obviously cannot respond in that way. And this creates a, a lot of new uh, problems. And uh, most notably, a lot of interest in storage on the system. So I'm sure you've heard lots of news about the development of new battery technologies, the deployment of batteries all around the power system. And this is in large part to be able to provide some other resource that is under the control of the operator. And batteries particularly have the attractive property that they can respond really fast. And if you can just think about your laptop, when it's plugged in, the battery is charging and it's operating, you can pull that plug and then it's still working. So some miracle has happened there where the battery has gone from charge to discharge almost instantaneous. It's not quite instantaneous and they've taken care of that in your laptop, but uh, big picture, uh, batteries have this very valuable property. And it means that they are able to respond to pretty small but very fast changes in the system.